How's it going guys? Chris here, bringing you another guide for one of those Battlefield Hardline weapons. And today I'm going to be going over a very different kind of gun to the normal, fully and semi-automatic rifles you're used to seeing. In this video, I'm going to go over the A8S, otherwise known as the Aero Stealth 8S1P, which isn't your typical bullet spewing machine. It's an American pneumatic air gun that launches arrows into your target instead of bullets, similar to a crossbow or a compound bow. But unlike a crossbow, it fires at a much quicker velocity, down to it being powered by CO2 cylinders, rather than a pulley system. The A8S is mainly used for hunting, anti-personnel, and even grappling. There was a bit of a mystery as to whether the gun was ever used in any military combat, despite the rumours of some military forces taking interest in the gun in its early stages of development. The more modern versions of the A8S are designed to look similar to M16s, though the older model that we've been given in Hardline looks a bit like a traditional air gun. But even though it's slightly more dated, it still has the capabilities of mounting optics on top of the weapon, for acquiring targets a bit easier. In Battlefield Hardline, the A8S plays out as a bit of a wildcard weapon. It's available for all kits and all factions, making it an easy gun to slot into a loadout of your choice. Though it costs a rather high price of $85,000, making it a fairly expensive one to go for, especially for a weapon that mechanically functions quite differently to your average gun. So let's go over it in a bit more detail. And first I'm going to highlight what's good about the A8S. Well, for starters, the weapon has an extremely high damage rate. Because you're firing arrows instead of bullets, the arrows can essentially soar through the air and skewer the poor bastard that you're aiming at like a kebab. On PC, the maximum damage is 100 up to the range of 10 meters. The damage then starts to drop off over distance to about 60 meters away, where its minimum damage of 90 is dealt. This pretty much makes it the most powerful weapon in the game, being able to kill in one shot at closer ranges, and two at longer distances. Though on consoles it's pretty much a one hit kill every time as it can deal its maximum damage at even longer ranges. And being able to kill in just one shot can completely shut down other players instantly in a firefight, making it a highly effective weapon to use in close quarters. And because you're firing silent arrows instead of noisy bullets, this also makes the A8S a good stealth weapon to bring along to the battlefield, as you won't show up on the radar when you fire. Another great thing about the gun is that because it has the capabilities of killing most targets in just one hit, this kind of rules out the need for a steady recoil pattern, as the gun is going to fire that arrow wherever you happen to be aiming at the time, and it's really only the first shot that counts, making it a very accurate weapon to use. The A8S does have recoil, but it's not relevant down to the weapon not firing in fully or semi-automatic modes. But for those of you wondering what that recoil pattern actually is, here it is just for you. It kicks vertically with a value of 2.5, left with a value of minus 0.5, and right with a value of 1. Though these stats really aren't very useful, as it doesn't matter what the recoil is, because the arrows are always going to fly where you're aiming as soon as you squeeze that trigger. Now because the weapon doesn't shoot in your typical quick fire modes, this nicely leads me over to the A8S's negative factors, and the main one being its rate of fire. The gun is muzzle loaded, meaning it can only fire in a single shot mode. Once you launch an arrow, you'll then have to load another arrow for the next shot to be fired, and this action takes about 4 seconds to actually perform. Within this time you're a highly vulnerable target, and in closer quarters where the gun works the best, if you miss an enemy in the middle of a shootout, you're basically screwed. Unless you can dash over to some cover before all of your health is gone, or unless your enemy has a really crappy aim. Another thing that I should point out about the A8S is its low velocity. Although it's typically much higher than a conventional crossbow, compared to the bullets that the other hardline guns are shooting, the arrows that the A8S fires are only going to travel at a velocity of 200 meters per second, which is kind of similar to what a suppressed SMG would fire at. This is much lower than your typical rifle, restricting its use to closer ranges where it's much more effective. To hit a target at longer ranges, you'll have to lead your target more and plan the arrow's trajectory when you fire, as it's going to take a little bit longer to fly through the air than your standard bullet. It's not an impossible weapon to use at medium to longer distances, but it's definitely a much harder gun to use, and it's difficult to land successful shots if you don't lead your targets correctly and allow for this travel time. So when it comes down to the attachments, you haven't got any choice at all, as the only thing you'll be able to slap on here is one of those metallic camos, though the gun is fitted with its very own Comp M4S sight, giving you a more accurate reading on your targets. Though this is permanently fitted onto the weapon and won't come off, but overall it's a pretty good optic for the gun and doesn't cause any issues. So in conclusion, the A8S is a unique stealthy weapon firing arrows instead of bullets. It's extremely powerful and it's capable of killing other players in just one shot anywhere on the body. Though because it fires at a slower velocity, it's going to be tricky to hit enemies at longer ranges, down to that travel time. 
and due to the single shot nature of the gun, missing your targets too often is probably going to leave you vulnerable a hell of a lot, as you practically have to reload after every shot. That said, you don't have to worry about recoil, making the A8S a highly accurate at close to medium ranges. In CQC, the weapon can be a quick and effective way of dispatching anyone willing to take you on, though you'll have to have good aim, as most of the time you've only got one shot, and that shot determines whether you live or whether you die. It's a challenging weapon to roll with, but hitting targets is really satisfying and fun to do so, and so long as your aim is on point, it should get you through a lot of battles unscathed. So that's pretty much it for this one guys, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, well now's the perfect time to do so, and if you enjoyed the video, give that like button a click on the way out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.